on China. And eventually, I think we have to make a statement, and that statement is any aggression by North Korea beyond its borders should be seen as an act of war by China. North Korea is the bastard stepchild of China. They couldn't exist a week without Chinese support. They couldn't have built their weapons of mass destruction without China. China should be held as, as accountable as North Korea for any acts of aggression. Hmm. Yeah. Breaking news from the uh, president's visit to his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Uh, during his opioid event, President Trump just said this, quote, North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. They will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which the world has never seen. Christy, that is what the president just said uh, right. from his working vacation in Bedminster, New Jersey. Tough talk, but these are tough yeah. times. Uh, tough talk. The danger for him is that um, President Trump is full of a lot of tough talk. Um, he is someone who, um, as some have joked about, is somebody who likes to uh, talk loudly and carry a small stick. That's not the approach that we should be uh, going after here. Um, I, I just don't think that, uh, as I said, sort of, you know, verbal bullying and empty, potentially empty threats are the way to go. You want to de-escalate. He doesn't seem to uh, have a lot of ability to know how to do that exactly. I'm sure that there are cooler heads that can prevail in his administration. I hope that they will do so. Brad, you have been a presidential advisor. How would you advise the president to handle this one? I think you have to go toe to toe uh, with China and with North Korea. You have to galvanize our allies and say we've, we've probably reached the point of no return in, in uh, the threats made by uh, North Korea is now matched by their actions, their ability to do that which they say they want to do, and that is to destroy America and South Korea. We cannot let that stand. The last eight years under Obama of apology and appeasement brought us to this point. It's now time for action to be taken. No more six-party talks. I think the president is right to use every tool in the toolbox, including and not excluding a military option, because right now we're at the point where it's now verifiable that they have the weapons to match their threats. We cannot let that stand. Well, on that score, Brad, I mean, the president got out of the U.N. over the weekend, uh, you know, a, a condemnation of uh, North Korea and sanctions that, frankly, Russia and China signed on to. That's yep. that's astounding progress, isn't it? It is. And we got to make sure that those sanctions uh, take some time in order to take the desired and intended effect. But that requires North Korea to stand down, and, and they seem to be stepping it up rather than uh, um, standing down, which is which they should be doing, because what they're threatening uh, the world with, not just the United States, is something that the world should not tolerate. Well, Christy, um, Kim Jong-un undoubtedly feels emboldened by his progress here. I mean, he's, he's tested multiple ICBMs, two of them mm -hmm. in July alone, and now apparently if the if the uh, National Defense Intelligence Agency is correct, its assessment is that now he has the nuclear warhead that will fit on top of one of those ICBMs and is launchable. If, if you're Kim Jong-un, what reason do you have to back down? You've got the world paying attention to you. You've got the world essentially by yeah. the tail. Yeah, no, I, I agree, and that, that's exactly the danger here. Um, I, but listen, I agree with what Brad is saying about that um, we've made, you know, pretty significant progress in terms of, you know, global economic sanctions, uh, you know, the, um, and I, I do believe that that's what you want to do is sort of lean on the power of our allies as well um, to say that no country is going to sort of take this lying down. Um, but it's a really precarious and, Hold you know, on for just a second while sure. we play the president's remarks from New Jersey. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal statement. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So a uh, tough statement from President Trump there regarding uh, the threats from Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea.
Brad, just talk about, I don't know if you were able to see it, the body language there, the president with his arms crossed and, and obviously very uh, stern language. Is that an effective way to get the message across to Kim Jong-un? It is, but I, I think the president is also speaking directly to China as well. And, and the, the burden is on them. They are the enabler. North Korea couldn't exist a week. And let's put it in perspective, John. North Korea is the size of Pennsylvania with a population of 25 million. They're holding the entire world hostage. That's, that's completely unacceptable. And by the way, they're going to lose in the end. If they were stupid enough to attack the United States or South Korea or any of our allies, Japan, they would lose. There's no doubt about it. But the problem is the world would lose, too, because of the millions of people who would be affected yeah. by this kind of destruction. But we've seen it before. Hitler got so powerful. Europe could have stopped Hitler. But they chose a policy of appeasement. And in the end of the day, 60 million people were killed when he could have been neutralized a lot sooner with less uh, destruction to Europe and the rest of the world. You cannot let a dictator run roughshod over us or any of our allies or the greater population of the world. Obviously, we'll be watching very closely at the response coming out of the White House and uh, President Trump as he is in New Jersey. Christy Setzer, Brad Blakeman, thank you both. Thank you. Coming up, more on these threats from North Korea. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, warning dictator Kim Jong-un the U.S. could retaliate if he decides to make any moves. Here is something big banks don't want you to know about your IRA or 401k. Store your retirement at home. With the Augusta Home Delivery Gold IRA, you can transfer your current IRA or 401k into approved physical gold and silver coins. No management fees, no depository fees, and you have direct physical control over your IRA because your IRA gold and silver coins will be delivered to your door with free shipping and free insurance. You can store approved coins in your safe at home or in a safety deposit box at your local bank. Augusta Precious Metals is the leader in home delivery gold IRAs. With an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau, AA from the BCA, gold and silver have been the family business for over 40 years. Call 800-345-4IRA for our free guide to Augusta Home Delivery Gold IRAs and discover how you can get up to $2,000 in silver free. If you can't hold it, do you really own it? The first person to survive Alzheimer's disease is out there. And the Alzheimer's Association is going to make it happen by funding scientific breakthroughs, advancing public policy, and providing local support to those living with the disease and their caregivers. But we won't get there without you. Visit ALZ.org to join the fight. you further. Ram, America's longest lasting pickups. Now get an average 11,468 in total values on the 2017 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab with a Hemi V8 engine. I'm Leah Gabriel with the Fox Report and more of today's headlines. Heavy rain triggered a landslide that killed about two dozen people. Chinese state media report it happened today in that country's southwest area. Two people are still missing there. Rescue crews pulled one person from the rubble. The government reports the landslide destroyed more than 70 homes. And back here at home, you've probably heard about the massive sinkhole. Will this force officials in Florida to condemn seven homes? Emergency workers say it destroyed two homes when it first opened up last month in Lando Lakes, north of Tampa. It's now more than 200 feet across. The New York Times reports it is the biggest sinkhole in the U.S. in three decades. County officials say it could take months to clean up all the debris. And a car crashed into a fire hydrant, slicing it open. It triggered enough waterworks to flood a small section of Van Nuys, California, north of L.A. Officials say only one car was involved and no one was seriously hurt. The news continues with John Scott right after this. For over 40 years, Abeka has helped Christian school teachers and homeschool parents provide the best education possible for students of all ages, offering everything from comprehensive textbooks and learning materials to online shopping and support.